Hi, this is Maciek from Shop Magic. Uh, today I would like you, uh, I would like to give you a little bit of an overview of our new Shop Magic add-on. It is uh, WooCommerce subscription uh, subscriptions integration, and it allows you to create automations based on subscription events such, such as payments or status changes. And I will give you a little bit of an overview. Uh, so let me go to my automation that I created uh, a little time before. Um, you can target uh, specific uh, subscriptions uh, with specific events. So for example, uh, you can target any status change. Um, you can select um, the from start status, for example, you can set it to active and the to status, for example, cancelled. But as you can see, you can uh, create any combination. And when the status in this example is changed from on hold to expired, uh, the email will be sent to a customer. Uh, we have also um, a bunch of other um, events. For example, you can, um, you can target uh, subscriptions that uh, their trial ended. You can target uh, new subscriptions when they are created in the store. And I think the most two important uh, events, uh, the before end event and before renewal event. And today I will um, focus on the before renewal event because the before end event is very, very similar to this one. Uh, so when you create uh, this kind of event, it is triggered once a day and it looks for subscriptions that are due for renewal on the specified day. So, for example, uh, if you enter five uh, in this field, days before renewal, uh, this event will look for all subscriptions that, will, uh, that are due for renewal in five days. You can, of course, change this value to 20, 10 or 2 or any other number that you want. Uh, and it will look for subscriptions that uh, will exp uh, that will be renewed in five days. Uh, next, you can choose time of the day when this event is fired. Uh, if you do not do it, uh, it will be fired at four o'clock uh, in the morning. But you can also uh, enter any other uh, time of the day and this event will fire uh, at this time. Mm. Another very important uh, thing is uh, the segmentation, uh, which is possible with filters. So you can uh, target only specific subscriptions uh, if you want. Uh, you can, for example, target subscriptions with specific products, product categories uh, or uh, dates uh, you can, with a specific st status or order total. In this example, uh, I would like to send this email to customers uh, who uh, will be charged for their next subscription payment in five days. And I want to target only subscriptions that are automatic. So I will choose the requires manual um, renewal filter and I will set it to no. Uh, by this, I am making sure that uh, this the email that I'm going to send will be sent only to customers with credit cards uh, or PayPal and not to customers that require manual uh, manual renewal. Uh, and next, uh, we will create the content. Um, we have um, a bunch of fields uh, in the beginning, for example, uh, the, the to field. Mm, subject heading, uh, we can also choose a template. We will choose the default WooCommerce template. And then we can uh, skip to uh, creating the, uh, the, um, the email content, which I already did. Mm, and what's really important here that in, in the content, you can choose uh, placeholders. So these are, these are snippets that will be replaced with actual customer data in uh, when the email is actually sent. So for example, the customer first name placeholder will be changed to the actual customer's first name, John, Anna, and so on. But there are also a bunch of other placeholders that you can use. For example, subscription next payment date or a payment method or total. 
you can see the list of all available placeholders in the right hand side. Um, so uh, apart from the customer placeholders with name, first name, email and other data, you can also uh, choose uh, other placeholders to display the subscriptions data, for example, status, payment method, payment count, uh, view URL to, to my account, uh, a bunch of dates, uh, products and also customer billing address, shipping address, uh, custom field or admin URL if you, for example, want to send the email to yourself or to your employees uh, with the uh, added subscription admin URL. So when you're ready, um, you can uh, just copy these placeholders and, uh, and place them in your message. So uh, here in this example, we are um, notifying our customers uh, that will charge his credit card um, in five days and uh, if he wants to continue the subscription there's no need to uh, do anything more just to make sure that his payment method in our example it is a credit card is active uh, and there are uh, funds um, funds on it um, and we are also giving him uh, uh, an information about how much money will be uh, will, he will be charged. So this is just a quick overview. Just to sum it up, first you select an event. In this example, we will want to send an email before the subscription renewal. We set the number of days. Then we can optionally segment um, our uh, subscription uh, base with a bunch of filters and then we create a message that the customer receives with a bunch of placeholders will, which will be um, replaced with the actual customer data. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this quick overview. Um, and I, if you're using WooCommerce subscriptions, I, I hope that uh, you will be able to uh, get higher conversions. For example, you can also uh, use this uh, to, um, to send emails to customers who cancelled uh, their subscription. Um, uh, in that case, you would choose the status changed and you would choose here cancelled or pending cancellation and you can uh, send a win back uh, email to such customers uh, to and, and encourage them to um, encourage them to um, to resubscribe so i hope that uh, that this add-on will be um, will be useful to you and yeah thank you and see you in our next video thanks